Hello everyone, and today we are going to be doing a playthrough of Imperator 2. Now, uh, I just covered this mod on the channel. I sort of uh, gave the basic rundown of what this mod is, but as you can see, there's only one playable faction in this mod, that is the Roman Republic. And the start date is 280 BC, so you're going up against uh, Pyrrhus of Epirus right at the start. And in this campaign, because this mod is focused just on the Roman campaign, on the campaign of the Roman Republic, that means your enemies are going to be quite buffed. It's going to be quite a tough campaign. And uh, yeah, we're going to be trying uh, to sort of get through this. Again, this mod, like I said in that other video, is based on Rome Total Realism uh, Platinum Edition or Rome Total Realism 6 Gold. So um, <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, get into the campaign. Okay, so here we are in the campaign map, and as you can see, Imperator 2 has a 4 turns per year script. So if you're playing this mod, uh, which, which I'll have the link in the description for that, um, click on Show Me How at the start, and if you reload the campaign, make sure uh, to do that, or else you'll run into problems. So, uh, as you can see at the start here, we are the Roman Republic. We start out with quite a small... Uh, territory here, just three provinces. And that's actually the way I like my campaigns here. So let's get our spy into the south here. As you can see, you've got Pyrrhus of Epirus uh, in the south, uh, controlling a good amount of territory in the south at Calabria and Apulia. So in in my spotlight video about this mod, what I did is I took my garrison and I went straight for Pyrrhus uh, and his armies, but I think I don't want to do that this time. I'd rather go after the rebels and slowly incorporate the surrounding provinces into my territory. And then uh, we'll see what happens here. So as you can see in terms of the economy, uh, you're doing very poorly at the start, right? So you start out with a good amount of money, so I'm sort of conflicted here. Do I want to upgrade my buildings or do I want to perhaps uh, save my money so that I don't go fa that far into debt? And I think what I'm going to do is perhaps maximum build a couple temples. But again, I'm not sure here. So Kapua, let's see how Kapua is in terms of devel development. Uh, Basilica, so we can upgrade our governor's palace here. So that's probably something I want to do uh, for sure. And uh, Ancona doesn't even have a palisade. That's kind of what I want to do. I want to fortify it. Um, and that give, that'll give us public order benefit as well. So I think in Rome I won't construct anything, perhaps maximum I can go for a temple here. And then in terms of units, I'm losing so much money I don't want to uh, go for any more units here. So I'm going to take my army that's in my fort in the north and I'm going to go after the Etruscan rebels at Aretium. And uh, should I assault? I think I'll maintain the siege. Because if I assault, that's going to be a very difficult garrison to overcome there. And down here in the south, perhaps, perhaps I'll besiege Corfinium. And I'll see what Pyrrhus has to say about all this. So, with all that done, I think I will end the turn. Okay, so uh, the garrison of Corfinium is attacking me, so let's, uh, let's get this party started. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at the enemy here. So they've got a lot of Samnites, Samnite infantry, an Italic general, the Italic hoplites. So sort of your standard sort of... Uh, Samnite force here. Very infantry heavy. Our army is also, of course, very infantry heavy, but we do have a couple of cavalry units. So I might get 
those guys into position. And I'll get our Velites and Funditores up in the front here. Got our hoplites in the back. Okay, the enemy does have some cavalry. I might put our spears on the right flank here, just in case their cavalry come against us. Again, they have to attack me. Their hoplites are going a little bit crazy. So I don't really know what to say. They're very spread out right now, so you know what? I'm going to attack them. I'm going to pull my cavalry back because I don't want them to engage with those hoplites. Yep, there you go. Okay, so hopefully that will kind of draw out the enemy there. I want to move these Petites in the back. I don't know why they're in such a formation here. Again, the units in this mod, very nice. A little, a little drab if you want to sort of nitpick, but very nice looking indeed. Okay, so the enemy are pushing against us here. Yeah, I don't want them to hit our cavalry. I'll move our equities down here. Perhaps we can sort of uh, draw these guys out. I mean, we have to remember the enemy does have a sort of numerical advantage here. Okay, they're charging at our spears here. We braced. We're ready. So things seem to be okay, except our general is under attack. Let's get our equites back in here. Oh, our principes got kind of surrounded there. You know, it's hard to play this mod, because you know your enemies are buffed here, right? So, you've got to pay real good attention. This mod is not for the faint of heart. Oh boy, our troops are breaking. They are breaking. Again, I did not manage this battle as half as well as I should have. But still. This is going to be a hard, a tough pill to swallow. Yep, they're coming up against us in the center there very, very strongly, I don't know. Perhaps I can kind of envelop them in the right flank. But I'm not sure, our, our troops are just not holding. Perhaps we can get their general over there. Again, perhaps. Again, the AI is playing very, very well in this mod, I have to say. Yep, our equites are routing. That's not good. Okay, we got those guys to rout, which is nice. Yeah, I should have redone my formation at the start. That was very poor decision making.
Okay, let's get these pedites to sort of route there. Okay, the enemy is somewhat distracted here. So let's get our spears. We've got uh, three units here. So let's get our spears and such to sort of flank the enemy. If we can get that general over there, I think we'll be in a better spot. I want to get our equites back here. Okay, we got the enemy general to rout. Very good. And we killed the enemy general. Very nice indeed. So if we can sort of envelop their troops here, that would be very good. Okay, our equites made a good charge over there. Oh good, we got their other hoplites to rout, and we've got a mass rout going. Excellent work. Okay, let's get our general out of the way there. This unit of Funditores is fighting pretty well. Okay, and we've got all their guys routing here, so that is excellent. Let's move our general into position. Where are the Hastati? They're doing well, so I'll have our Hastati sort of chase these guys as well, get more of our infantry here to oppose uh, the enemy infantry. Have our equites kind of chase these guys down. Okay, we got those hoplites to route. Very good. Well done. Our Funditores are doing quite well, but they are at the edge of the map here. General, quickly charge at these Velites. I think we could uh, really turn the tide there. Let's have our Velites keep moving. Equites, go after those Samnite mercenaries here. Make sure none of them get to the square. Our Hastati can go after those guys. Okay. And I think if we charge these guys we'll be in a pretty good position. And they broke. Very good, very good, very good. Let's have what's left of our infantry charge those pedites over there. It looks like these guys are confused on the rocks. Doing a little shimmy. Do the shimmy. Oh, he fooled our guy by shimming around him. I don't like that at all. Kill him. There we go. That's what you get for shimmying. And they routed. Excellent. Okay, let's have our Funditores go after these uh, Samnite mercenaries. 
and our Hastati will hit him from the front, and that should be the coup de grace for them. How many troops did we lose? We lost 42% in this battle. That's not great, but considering how that battle was going at the start, that's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. What enemy unit is left? Just this one. This unit of Samnite mercenaries. If we get our general again, they're caught up in these rocks. They don't know what to do. We're kind of just hanging out. But I hope they know they're flanked. Okay, and we've got a heroic victory there. That was really quite the battle. You know, I have to say, this is on normal difficulty, and it feels like the mod is balanced for normal. Because uh, th that enemy seemed quite tough indeed. Uh, I really like the battle mechanics in this mod, especially because, you know, it, it might seem a little unfair, but I think it's quite well balanced. And, you know, I had to be smart. I was not thinking very clearly at the beginning of that battle. I was just trying to sort of wing it like I usually do. But, you know, I had to really buckle buckle it down in the middle there. And I was able to turn that around quite nicely and we got essentially all of them so yeah let's quickly look at the battle statistics our equites were our uh, general's bodyguard was quite effective yeah general's bodyguards in this mod are quite strong our infantry was very effective as you might expect from roman army this sort of a uh, Camillan Rome, right? A Camillan Roman army. Our Funditores were very effective. 15 casualties sustained, 200 inflicted. That is quite nice. Our Velites were effective. Um, our Petites were not that effective. But yeah, our Principes were actually hit really hard from at the beginning. And that's what made me worried. But our other guys were able to hold uh, the line quite well. And our equites inflicted 380 casualties. So, all's well that ends well. Okay. So, should I enslave the populace? I think I'll enslave the populace. Just for now. It is the summer of 280 BC. Thank you. Okay. Faction announcements. We've got a slave trader. <clears throat> We've got a heroic savior. We've got a priest of Jupiter. That's fine. Imperator 2. The word itself conjures up a city teeming with life, love, power struggles, and intrigue. Our people are tough and resilient. Even this guy. The rightful heirs of the glory and sophistication of the now disintegrating Greek empires and Alexander. We have a destiny. You have been born a member of our noble patrician class and are about to embark on a journey for world domination with the greatest empire and army that the world has ever known. The immediate threat comes in the south in the form of Pyrrhus, the king of Epirus. Historically, what Alexander the Great had done to the Persian Empire, Pyrrhus evident evidently thought was possible also in the west, and Tarentum seemed the necessary base for such conquests. Pyrrhus evidently had not heard much about the Romans. What he heard now evoked his respect. Still more what he saw in hard fighting at Heraclea and Asculum. Right. Uh, yeah, that is all correct. So Pyrrhus uh, seems to have sort of scattered his army there. Interesting. Our army is not in great shape at the moment. Economically... We're doing slightly better, but we need some time. It would be good if I could uh, at least get a palisade done in uh, Corfinium. That would be nice. 
I mean, this province is very undeveloped. So th this mod requires a lot of buildup. And I really like that, you know, as, as a big fan of, you know, the Civilization series, I really love building. And Kona has grown as well. Uh, can I upgrade that? It would be nice to do that. Because I have... started the upgrade for Kapua. But I think getting a palisade done would be a little more important. I don't like assaults like that. I like having walls on my settlements. But the other thing is, if Pyrrhus attacks with all his forces right now, I'm going to be in deep trouble. I'm going to be in deep trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these infantrymen, the equites, I should probably get them back to Rome and Capua for retraining. Because we are in serious trouble in the south. Pyrrhus has a good, good number of troops. All in all, I think we're doing the right thing. I think if we get the Etruscans to sort of get whittled down here. Yeah, if we whittle down these Etruscans. And then move this army south to fight Epirus. I think that'll be a sort of good course of action. You know what? I'll go for the Palisade. You know, let's put everything in the queue. Palisade, subjugation, roads. Because I don't know how long I'm going to be in debt. So let's just do that for now. At least we have pretty good development in our core three settlements. I think I need a couple more infantry units. So I'm going to recruit... I suppose some Hastati in Rome, some... Hmm. Some Italic Hoplites in Capua, and some Italic Hoplites in Ancona. And since they are zero turn recruitment, I'm going to get some more Hoplites in Capua. I just need to get more reinforcements out there to my armies. Uh, because as you can see, this mod is pretty tough at the start here. Okay, so let us uh, end the turn and see what happens. Epirus wants a ceasefire. That's probably something I want. Will you trade with me? Okay. How about map information? That's great. Okay, it is the autumn of 280 BC. After the third level auxilia, you can choose whether to grant the province citizenship or if it stays under your provincial rule. Choose wisely as you cannot change it in the middle of the campaign. The provincials will bring much wealth through extra trade bonuses, but lack Roman units. The province will only be able to recruit auxilia units. Only. There's an extra only. Only provinces with the citizenship Latinitas will be able to recruit the legions. Okay. In the core here, I definitely want to have legions. But then as we get further out, I guess it depends on the province. I do want to have allies in, at least some allies in every sort of major region. Okay, the Koinon Helenon are at war with the Ptolemaic Empire. Illyria is at war with the Greek cities. Epirus has made peace with me. Okay. So now that we have peace with Epirus, at least for now, it would be good to attack Pastum. Okay. So let's get our troops. How are these uh, Coloni Militum? Uh, they are... They're pretty good. These guys are pretty good. 
these guys sort of represent uh, colonies of Rome, uh, right? And uh, of course, the Romans had sort of co colonies in the uh, the allied territories surrounding Latium, right? And that's kind of how they were able to incorporate these allied areas, because of course, these all all these guys were not Romans. They were related. A lot of them were related. Not all of them. A lot of them were related Italic tribes related to the Romans, but they were not uh, Roman, and they, they might not have even been uh, Latin-speaking. Depends on who it is, of course. There were other languages like Umbrian, right, that were spoken. Same language family, though. And, uh, yeah, the Romans were able to make colonies in a lot of these areas, kind of cut them off from each other, and eventually, when they did sort of try to get rid of the Roman yoke, uh, they were kind of cut off, and they were just overwhelmed by that colony system. So, yeah, let's get our hoplites. Uh, this Epirote Fort is bothering me, but there's not much I can do here. The, the garrison at um, Paestum there, in Lucania is too big for my army in Corfinium. So I'm going to get my troops together and perhaps we can uh, get them together at at Rome. Yeah, let's get our troops together at Rome and see what we can do here. So yeah, Triarii, Velites, Principes, Hastati, Hoplites, Equites. Let's get them out of Corfu. I, I want the Funditores. They were quite effective. Uh, I said Corfu. I mean Corfinium. So, uh, let yeah, let's get these troops out of Corfinium. Let's move back here. Corfinium's going to get a palisade. So if... Epirus does attack, they won't be able to assault. Uh, if they give me three more turns, they won't be able to assault. So, I'll get these troops in Ancona. Let's give them to our general uh, Lavinus. And in Rome, we have some Hastati. Now, so let's give them to Lavinus as well. And then in Capua, we have some infantry units. So I think that'll make Lavinus's army strong enough to go after Lucania. So that's good. Okay, let's end the turn here and uh, see what happens. It is the winter of 280 BC. Transgression, Carthage. Carthage, your behavior is both tiresome and profitless. If you continue to annoy our people, there may be no chance to contain our anger. Be warned that your errors have been noted. I didn't even do anything to them. Wait, they declared war on me. Okay. Alliance announced. Bactria and the Seleucid Empire. Okay. We've been betrayed by Carthage. Wonderful. Okay, so let's get our diplomat... I guess to the north here. Let's see if we can cut a deal with uh, the Gauls to the north here. I really want to secure southern Italy from Epirus before I go after the Gauls to the north here. And I would like to secure Sicily as well. Just to sort of shore up my economic base. So let's get our infantry together. How about our uh, colonist militia? Okay, they're good. All right. Do I have any more characters? Can I send someone to govern Rome? No. Okay, so I think that army should be good enough uh, to go after Paestum. Oh, but they have to go all the way around because of this fort. Great. Well, whatever. Let's see. I might need that army to go after uh, Ariminum and the Umbrians. So, let's see what happens. If if I don't if I don't have the strength to send uh, Coruncanius 
over to Umbria, then I'll send Levinus to Umbria and try to finish them off that way, and then move down south with all of my forces. And maybe I can ally with the Gauls here. I, I don't want to face them right now. Okay. So let's, uh, and our economy is really horrible. Okay, so let's end the turn and see what happens here. Okay, so the Etruscans are sallying out. So let's, let's do this. Okay, let's get our troops in order here. Um, yeah, this formation is not working out. It didn't work out in that last battle, and I, I didn't even notice there was such a formation. I want our Funditores to kind of pelt them quickly from the start. I've got Velites as well. I'll put them in the front. Let's see if we can cause some damage. Okay, our troops are kind of scattering there. We've got our spears in the back. I'm going to kind of scatter our spears there because I want them to uh, back up our troops in case there are any holes or if the enemy tries some flanking because our cavalry really isn't that strong uh, to stop enemy flankers. Okay, Velites, um, move forward. Yeah, the hoplites, enemy hoplites are, again, doing that sort of dance in front of the unwalled settlement. Okay. What other units do they have? Samnites? Samnites, hoplites, very, very standard run-of-the-mill Etruscan force. They have to come at me, so I'm going to uh, fast forward here. Okay, they're coming at me, but are they charging or not? They're, it's a very confused assault. Yeah, they're trying to hit us with heavy cavalry. On the left flank. Can we hold them? They're actually fighting quite well. The enemy general is coming at us too. Okay, we got those guys to rout. That's good. Infantry, reform. Infantry, quickly hit those Samnites there. Okay, Principes. Go after those Velites and other Principes form up. Move our troops there, move our equites. Our general is in a little bit of trouble. But he's backed up by hoplites. We should be able to defeat them. But our general is kind of blocking the hoplites from engaging, so I'm going to move him back. Okay, he's okay. Perhaps I can flank with him. Okay, let's sort of hit these hoplites from the back. Get our equites in there. Hit the enemy equites. I don't want them to uh, move against our infantry like that. Ah, uh, our general got sort of caught off guard there. Come on, our hoplites are kind of distracted. Okay, Equites. Hit the enemy Equites, and then we'll move against their general. Oh, I lost my general. That is not good. Now 
Yep, they sort of outmaneuvered me there. Unfortunate. And the sad thing is, I fought this battle much better than the last one. In general. Of course, I do have the advantage this time. Okay, let's get our equites to sort of snipe their general here. And I think if I do that, I can cause a rout. Because I've got some flankage going on there. And is their general sniped? Get him. We got him. Dimnos is dead. And even though we got a heroic sacrifice from our general, we got the enemy general and everyone is routing. So that's really excellent. Who's the enemy unit? Okay, just a couple of equites. I'll send my equites to go after them. I think everyone else... I think this battle is pretty much done. So I'll see you at the victory screen. Okay, so here we are at the victory screen. And as you can see, our general did very badly in this battle. And uh, he died for that. But everyone else did well. So, that's interesting. Basically the opposite of what happened in the last battle. In my last battle, the general was the MVP. Who sort of led everyone to victory. But, you know, that happens. It is the spring of 279. Okay, so we got a heroic death for Tiberius Coruncanius. Which is sad. We got... Uh, the Palisade completed in Ancona. Just one more turn for the Palisade in Corfinium. And uh, we took Aretium. And you know, our army is actually in a pretty good state. Orders. So I wonder... Can we just go after Ariminum? I think that's something we can do. I don't think the Umbrians can handle the strength of this army. So I might just do that, and who knows, I might get a man of the hour for that battle. Okay, so I think that'll be it for this first episode of the Imperator 2 campaign. Uh, this, this mod is really interesting. It's really different compared to a lot of the Total War mods I've tried up to now. I mean, it's really focused on the Roman experience, on building up the Roman Empire from just the small you know, Roman Republic that existed that had just expanded into um, Campania and uh, Picenum at the start of this campaign and sort of just take it step by step. It's really interesting. Uh, the battles are tough. These battles are tough. I mean, I'm, I'm not the greatest general, but these are tough uh, for me, and this is on normal. So don't laugh. It's just the way I play the game. Okay, everyone, if you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, if you enjoy this mod, Imperator 2, if you enjoy seeing episodes like this, consider liking this video, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in the next one later.